So I just learned you can climb steel scaffolding like a ladder. Did not know that. Hey everybody, Kyrie Zero Ninety One hanging out with you, boy. Oh boy, are we gonna have big fun today? Uh, playing some more FTB modded Minecraft. So today seemed like a good day to go on a little tour of the place. We're just gonna take a look around at everything we've gotten done. Um, uh, this room is kind of what started it all. It looked a little bit different when we first got started. It had a bunch of chests and didn't have all these train tracks and whatnot in here. But uh, yeah, this is, we got our villager over here. He's talking to us, Mr. Villager. How you holding up in there, buddy? Oh, he's not. He's still not willing to trade, by the way. All right. Of course, we got our mine down here. Got our little lava collection system down here. Ready to rock and roll. If we just throw some tanks on here, they'd fill up rapidly. But you guys already knew that. Oh, boy. I think that looks cool. I know it's just a cobblestone wall with, like, a staircase. But I've always felt like that looked really cool. And over this way, we have our original farm that uh, we started with. That sprinkler in the middle hasn't worked in a very long time. Um, I'm sure that if I went down underneath here, I could figure out why. Um, there's the water tank that's supposed to be feeding the, the sprinkler. I think this was a really, uh, really cool use of the Railcraft water tank. The Railcraft water tank is just not... There's not a lot of practical uses for it since, I mean, you can just make an infinite water source very easily. But I think it just looks cool to have a big old tank like that with water coming out the bottom. So, oh, something just happened on my computer. You can tell I just upgraded to Windows 10. All right. Uh, automated Orberry Farm being fed into this deal here. We got our rolling machine that's also automated. It's got gates on it, so it'll turn on on its own. The ore berries come out right there and they get fed so I can eat them and stand over this drain and fill up our little uh, experience tank down there, which is now full, pretty much. How about that? Filled up. Uh, and then, of course, we have our automated, or not automated, we have our enchantment system here with our cool looking uh, scary bookshelves. And we have an anvil over here that's hooked up to that, too. I also have a regular anvil. I'm not sure why, because we have the auto anvil. I don't remember why I put the regular anvil there. Um, got a nether portal. Nothing much to see there. Let me out. Sugar cane. Nether wart. Golems to kill any bad guys that show up at my door. We get lots of zombies here that like to go in there and mess with my villager. Um, up here we got a automated cactus. Basic stuff. Conveyor belts and things to bump the cactuses off their deal there. Um, I made, I used these, uh, thermoelectric generators. They're not very powerful, but they're, like, free to use. You just have to put something cold on one side and something hot on the other. So I put eulorium, because that's hot, in the middle. And then water on the sides of them, and they generate a little bit of energy. I don't remember what it's powering exactly. Something downstairs. Got a water wheel over here that it just water wheels are cool looking, but they produce so little power that they're like almost not worth even building. They just they produce so little power. They're cool looking though. Uh, we got our IC2 rubber, which I used at the very beginning and then never again, but here it is. Thomcraft mono beans. Mono beans, yep. We got a little drawer with a bunch of, well, a couple different mono beans. This thing never quite took off, but here it is. Slime trees. Um, golem tree farm over here. This tree should be getting chopped down right now. I'm not sure why it isn't. There it goes. It's being chopped down. I guess he must have missed a section of that tree. Oh. There, there it goes. Good job, guys. All right. The downstairs workings of the farm down here. Including a sorting golem. Uh, this thing. I'm kind of disappointed I never put a train tracks in here. Uh, rails in here. Because this is a cool looking tunnel, I think. I really like the way that this came out. I think this would have made a fine rail area. But I, I never got around to it. Over here, mob essence. 
the killer for the animals right there, the grinder and the little mute thingy, so I don't have to hear him whining. Inconsiderate animals whining when I'm trying to kill them. And here are the animals. Let's breed them one time. I had to put a muffler over them too because they just get too loud. This is kind of cool to watch. Come on. There it is. <laughs> All at once. Let me in there. Okay. Uh, over this way, we got our automated wheat farm. I have it shut off right now because we're good on wheat. Let's turn it on for a second and watch it do its thing. Woo! Look at it go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Holy guacamole. <laughs> oh. oh, is it any wonder? Look how quickly this thing churns out wheat. Is it any wonder that I add more wheat than I knew what to do with? Oh my god, look at this thing go. Let's shut it off. I don't want it to run anymore. I'll give you that wheat. Alright, so let's look at the workings of that. We got the uh, fertilizer. We have a sewer underneath the cows down there that collects the sewage. And sends it over here to get composted into fertilizer. You can see it doing its thing there. Come on. There it goes. And the fertilizer gets stored here. The seeds and the wheat get stored there. Power coming from right here. I actually put a tesseract in the wall behind that. Um, oh, over here we're gathering wool from the sheep and milk from the cows. I never made use of the milk, but there it is. Coming out of this rancher right here. Um, this was originally being powered by, first of all, that water wheel, which I told you water wheels aren't all that powerful. And then... couple of um, these powerful big windmills here. The They're like advanced windmills. They're not just regular windmills. Whoa. Rah. Okay. I like this wheat farm, man. This thing is crazy powerful. Anyway, so yeah, there's that. All the babies get pulled down here by the chronotyper and get sent down here to get killed by that grinder after a little while. Once they grow up into adults. Of course, we got our fancy cabin. First exterior structure that we built. And it's got a cool chimney coming out the top there. The chimney's actually functional, by the way. I mean, the smoke part is just for aesthetics, but it actually is a smeltery. It's a working smeltery. I don't, I mean, I don't use it a lot because I haven't done too much Tinker's Construct. But, um, yeah, our chest room. Pretty cool, pretty cool. We got automated ice and obsidian production back here if I need it. I made the QED over here, but I never used it. I made it so that I could make upgrades for the ender quarry, which we'll get to in a minute. I never got around to using it. I kind of wish that I had. Basic thermal line with just some thermal stuff. Uh, ender IO line. This was my first um, automated smelting. I tried to do an automation over here with the with this big um, big smeltery here, but it never quite worked out. <laughs> I ended up with a lot of bronze in the first couple episodes. Oh, I have brownstone in here. I could have been using this whole time. That stuff makes you run fast. I think I actually did use some of it somewhere. I just don't remember where. Down here, got this big room that had uh, the coke oven, a tank for the creosote, and a blast furnace. Over on this side, we got our... What are these things called again? Someone help me. Lasers and our assembly table and our integration table. ME network back here. We have a lot of cobblestone. It's still going. That it, We have an ender quarry that's still running right now. Um, and uh, yeah, there's that. There's the ME controller. Was that? I thought I heard a creeper. There's the ME controller doing its thing behind this secured uh, wall here. Because I don't want to, you know... It's supposed to look cool. I think it does. Let's go over here. A couple of IC2. This is all the IC2 I ever did. These three things. The generator, a bat box, and an extractor. And that's my entire IC2 for this playthrough. Um, this is the kill room. Let's see. Let's see if anything appears. Come on. 
I don't know if anything's gonna appear. I hear some skeletons somewhere getting into some trouble. I guess nothing's gonna appear today. That's fine. Uh, yeah. Wow, a lot of snowballs from the bli the blizzes that we killed. We had blizzes in there for a while. Um, down here is my engine room, the first room that Poozafruit ever said that I did well. Thank you, Poozafruit. Uh, this is automated in the sense that look at there's more graffiti in my, one of my generators. This is automated by this this thing right here. It keeps them stocked with charcoal. This thing will tell the um, generators when to turn on when the capacitor bank is running low on power. So that's pretty darn cool. And let's go back. Oh, wrong. What? I just came out of that room. This is the room I meant to go into. Uh, downstairs. Let's start looking at the fun stuff. This thing, our big old big reactor, automated to turn off when this capacitor bank gets full. I might, I might, I had planned to put a turbine over here. The uh, big reactors adds turbines, steam turbines that you can build. They're just like the big reactor, but they have turbine blades in them. And the way that they work is you heat up um, liquid in this thing, send the steam over to the turbine to push the turbine, and then as the steam cools, it turns back into water, and you send the water back over here to get heated up again. So you essentially stop generating power with this and start generating it with your turbine, and this thing's only purpose is to produce steam, once you set up your turbine, that is. Um, and you can use any kind of steam you want. You don't have to make steam with this. You could use Railcraft boilers or hobbyist steam engines or whatever you wanted to produce steam. Over here, we have this cool room, which I am pretty proud of the way that it came out. I like the floor designs, the blue stuff. Let's go down there and take a closer look. Got our crusher over there, just crushing away. Um, our assembler, let's watch this thing do its thing real quick. So we should see ore berries dropping out of that the pipe on the wall there. Hopefully. This thing, it doesn't produce a lot. Uh, this huge ore berry farm I have back here, with all those berries, I mean, just look how many. And this thing really does not produce stuff all that quickly. It's sort of a slow way to go about this, but it's not like I can see berries on some of the ore berry bushes in there. It's not grabbing them. I don't know why. This room is actually super cool to me. I like the way that this room came out. What do you guys think of this room? I'm impressed with it. I don't care what you guys think anymore. Except Pooza Fruit. I care what he thinks. Uh huh. A little bit of Mistcraft stuff to, going on in here. I never got to explore that cra. We made a crazy Mistcraft age that was like made of sandstone. Um, I never did much exploring in there. Back down this way, you can see the cows all waiting to get killed. All the spoils from when they do get killed wind up over here. I turned down my render distance, by the way, just to imp increase frame rate for this. Um, back this way, if I had rails here, this would be a whole lot cooler. Ow. Back this way, we have our Thomcraft area. This room right here was intended to be where the rails would drop you off, like you would get off the, um, the rails right here. And, and that's why I made this cool looking little room here. I do think this room is cool looking by the way with these little pillars with like the tables on top uh, And then the Thomcraft enchantment room. They're the infusion room. So here's the infusion altar Downstairs is our golem doing his thing. Hey, buddy. Let's give him something to do. He looks bored Let's cook up some Let's cook up some, uh, some seeds Here you go, bud. Put that stuff away Oh, he's just throwing it away. The herba one must be full. It is. See? He just throws them away. Classy guy. All right. And this is the uh, Thomcraft work area. I got my crucible right here. My arcane work table there. My research table over there. And then I have an automated alchemy set up right here. Where I can just, uh, you know, do some automated alchemy. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Where's my 
I can't even see it. There we go. Now I can see them all. Uh, outside. Inside. All right. Uh, I think that's that's everything. No, it's not. There's one last thing. Very recent thing that we haven't looked at yet. Let's ride this cart. I like this little tunnel. I do. You can look outside at that waterfall or that little pipe pouring out water right there. I think that's pretty darn cool. What do you guys think? The aluminum scaffolding at the entrance there. Of course, we have our... Why isn't this right? There it goes. Of course, we have our... Um... What is this mod called? Batania. Batania stuff going on right here. I have these constantly being stocked. The item droppers with charcoal from this chest that's attached to my uh, charcoal farm over there. And, um, yeah, they're being dropped onto those endo flames, which then hit the mana spreader, which there you go. So it's pretty darn cool. Basic stuff. Um, our runic altar up there. And our petal apothecary. And then just a bunch of uh, flowers kind of blooming around up here at the top of this thing. I think it's a pretty darn cool setup. Um, so that's about the long and short of it. That's, I think, everything that we've done here so far. Um, why am I going around showing off my base at this point in the series? Episode, what is this, 48, I think? Look at first windmill we built right there. Uh, because I think I am done with this series, with this LP series. That's why I'm going around giving you the grand tour. Um, I, I had a lot of things I wanted to do. For example, I wanted to build a... Um, the steam turbine over here and have it be pushed by that thing. That's why I put this in this corner and I was going to have a steam turbine in this corner. That was originally the plan. I also wanted to do some more immersive engineering in here. This is going to be like my immersive engineering factory room. I'm not sure exactly what else I was going to put in there, but immersive engineering has a bunch of cool stuff you can do. So I was thinking about doing that. Um, I wanted to, uh, to do a little bit more Thomcraft. Uh, I haven't, I mean, I've done a lot of Thomcraft, but there's a lot of stuff that I haven't researched. I wanted to do some more stuff with Thomcraft. That was so cool. This guy is a dart launcher. So he can just, like, shoot arrows from his, his well, his, his left hand, I guess. He has a arrow launcher. That's so cool. Um, anyways. God, those, those golems are cool. Uh, I wanted to make this into a spruce farm. I wanted to take the wheat out of here and convert it to um, a spruce tree farm because I, I like spruce. I think it looks cool. Uh, yeah, there was a few things that I had planned on doing. Plus, there's a lot of them. Hey, come here, zombie. I want you to die. Look at him go. You don't stand a chance, zombie. You do not stand a chance. He didn't even hurt him. He took like a half a heart from him. That dude's so beefy. A little golem. Um, there's a lot of things I could have done that I just never got around to doing. Oh, here's where I use that brownstone road. Man, that stuff makes you run fast. Anyways, but you know, to be honest, like I'm I'm just not digging this the way that I was. I'm not having that much fun playing it or recording it or producing it. Um, so at this point, it would kind of be like a chore for me to continue trying to do stuff with this particular playthrough. So that doesn't mean that's the absolute end Ooh, look at this bouncy stuff. <laughs> that doesn't mean this is the absolute end of this world. I'm not going to delete it, so it'll still be here in case I ever want to do anything with it. But don't exp... Do I get so many Endermen around this base? I don't know why that is, but this is seriously like Enderman land. Where you go, Enderman? Come back. I want you to die. It worked out well that this is Enderman land because I got a lot of Ender Pearls early on, which was kind of nice. Where am I going? <laughs> See, I never even, um, I never even went to the end. I never, like, beat the Ender Dragon and did all that stuff. Um, I wanted to set up an automated villager killing system. Where's my dude at? Where's my perp? Where's my, where's my guy? What the heck? Oh, come on. Anyways, I had... 
I'd wanted to take this villager and put him into an automated villager spawner and killer system. So I'd have like infinite emeralds. I never got around to doing that. Um, I wanted to kill the wither and do some stuff with nether stars. Never got around to doing that. So there's a lot of stuff that I never did on here that I kind of wanted to do. So I may come back and revisit this and look at green obsidian. How cool. I may come back and revisit this and try again uh, to do some of that stuff. But for now... Um, I just don't plan on doing any more regular episodes of this particular series. Um, I had fun doing it. We built some cool stuff together. Why are you running around in a circle? Jeez, man. Uh, cool stuff they drop. Why do I have pulsating iron in there? I don't think a zombie dropped that. I probably dropped that. I seriously don't know what happened to my purple, my golem here, but whatever. Anyways... Oh, he's down here. Oh, he's stuck under that lily pad. Get out of here. Wow, I don't know if I should have these lily pads here if he's getting stuck on them. Although, I'm not exactly going to be playing this anymore, so why do I care? Um, anyways, guys, uh, it's been a fun season. Thank you for watching. Uh, I don't know exactly what's next for me or what game I'm going to do next, but be sure to stick around the channel because whatever it is, it's bound to be big fun. Uh, this is Kyrie091, wishing you a wonderful day, and again, thank you for watching. Bye, everybody. Man, that guy's cool. Look at the gather golem goes and picks everything up. That's cool.